certainly is one of the showpieces of world football, the Munich Stadium. Today, Barcelona currently ranked number two side in Europe behind Real Madrid as per the history books. They have made three changes because of suspension. Gone Abelardo, Nadal and Sergi. In come Celades. Number three, Oscar and Roger, the brothers. The 22-year-old midfielder Oscar and his younger brother. It'll be very interesting to see how they cope defensively here. They have an outstanding record in this uh, campaign, having only conceded six goals in eight previous matches. Four of those came in the quarterfinals against PSV, where they drew at home 2-2, but they bounced back to win 3-2 in the second leg. Johan Cruyff has been here so many times before as a player and a manager. And he's up against his old sparring partner today. The president of Bayern Munich is Franz Beckenbauer. The referee is Michel Perrault of Belgium. Barquero, the captain, again, he's having a bit of a struggle this season. He's been replaced 16 times in 27 games. have been promised $43,500 each if they reach the final. There's their lineup. Just the one change today. Christian Nurlinger comes into the midfield and out is Strunz. The Klinsman and Jean-Pierre Papin joining forces together. Papin was on the outer for a long period. More recently came off the bench three rounds ago in the Bundesliga. Popescu back now for Busquets. So Mateus will sweep. In front of him will be Thomas Helmer. The flag up there against Jean-Pierre Papin. Just two goals in 14 Bundesliga games this season. Only made seven appearances last season because of injury. Amor. Back by Baquero. Popescu, you can see how cold it is. A lot of the Barcelona players wearing gloves. Again, Amor, he looked to be confronted by Scholl. Jean-Pierre Papin, it hasn't been the greatest of seasons in their domestic competitions. Haji has only played four full games in 15 starts. Cruiser inside for Thomas Helmer. Marcus Barbel. Thomas Helmer. That's not a bad looking ball. They're onside and the control just wasn't there for Christian Nerlinger. The chances you must take in this sort of competition. Delightful ball. Busquets was considering coming. He held his ground and luckily Barcelona aren't down a goal. There was a negative point out of the game for Scholl though after... Uh... Well, towards the end of the game, he struck one of the Dortmund players in the face, the Champ Wizard, and that was uh, seen by millions of viewers. That was uh, a game that rated very highly throughout Germany as Haji plays it down the line. That's not a bad ball. Celades, and the challenge was timed to perfection. Tay is 34 years of age now, 364 matches in the Bundesliga and it could have been so much more but for a stint in Serie A with Inter Milan. Will Haji go deep again, he goes near post. Good variety. And again unselfishly inside, Vaquero was at the back post. 
Haji tempted to volley. This time he strikes it well. Good take by Khan. Lovely skills from the Romanian. 14 minutes in. Khan had the near post covered. It was sweet to watch though. Popescu again. Ferrer. Oscar. Baquero. Can he get the return? He's onside. And the chance and taken. 1-0 Barcelona. The 22-year-old comes up trumps again. Bayern Munich's defence caught flat at the back. And the visitors take the lead. Outstanding work. Oscar was instrumental along with the captain Baquero. He timed the run to perfection. A sweet pass. And Khan had no chance. Cool finish indeed by the youngster. Outstanding production line, Busquets like five other teammates out there today, all Barcelona products. Babel. Now Klinsman's back. It's Gulli inside towards him. The little mud on cleared away by Amor. Taken by Busquets. He was fouled, surely. Good pressure nonetheless from Bayern Munich. the keeper was coming and pulled out at the last minute but most strikers would have gone ball and all in there an ideal chance to make it 2-0 but once again he made an easy run through the middle of that defense Senebet on winning away from home is 7-2. Bayern Munich, the uh, favourites in this game. Pretty, pretty healthy odds. Midway through the first half. Just in case uh, some of you might have just tuned in. Bayern Munich are down 1-0. Klinsmann sliding it through. The chance. Excellent covering work by the youngster, Celades. Mehmet Scholl was free at the back post. A lovely ball inside by Klinsmann. Not only a scorer, but a great provider as well. All the control by Klinsmann, the turn and the release. But the young 19-year-old closed down Scholl. Good signs for Bayern Munich in the last three or four minutes. A free header for Jean-Pierre Papin. They're getting closer. Although on that angle, a bit wide from the Frenchman. Scholl. 
has scored eight goals this season in the Bundesliga. Delightful ball, the header was a powerful one from Herzog. What a spell this is for Bayern Munich. The Spaniards with three suspensions in Nadal, Sergi and Abelardo. Although Nadal's original suspension of three games was yesterday reduced to one by a UEFA tribunal. So he should be right for the second leg. Spanish press had put a lot of pressure on Johan Cruyff and his team by claiming that winning at least one trophy is the only way the Dutchman can keep his job. on record as saying that the victory against PSV Eindhoven is the real Barcelona. Actually, his side had a pretty relaxed day yesterday, a light jog around the famous gardens of Munich. And it seems to have worked because they're leading 1-0 with just over 10 minutes of normal time left in the first half. They go deep for Jean-Pierre Papin. We've all seen how good he is in the air. And again, this ball was a great one. Papan with two defenders near him, and he still got the header. But just a bit astray. way in well what more can Bayern Munich do to try and equalize and it looked like it was Scholl just spraying it wide he had to go for it you can't fault him for that Makero was cut out by Nurlinger now Thomas Helmer, over 300 games in the Bundesliga. Ziga, the mistake, Oscar plays it to Haji. He's waiting for the support, it's coming inside. And struck wide by Figo. Did it take a deflection? And Haji again, the key man in the lead up. Good attempt. You could sense he was lining it up. There's a real danger now for Barcelona, uh, for uh, Bayern Munich rather. The last few minutes dominated by the visitors. Not it on by Figo. Pescu was up there, Baquero shoots wide. And high as well. He scored a hat trick this season. He's got five goals in the Spanish first division. And again, the teenager. Plenty of room on the left. Figo, the Portuguese star. Haji goes back post. He pulls it back. The drive was an excellent one, and so was the save. This time it's Oscar's brother trying his luck, Roger. The build-up of the match. Well, Yayan Koy thought his team came of age in the quarterfinals against PSV Eindhoven, but today they are playing some inspired football. They took the lead in the 15th minute through Oscar. Then we saw a very good period for the home side, Bayern Munich, where they peppered the Barcelona goal between the 20th and 30th minutes. But then a late revival again by Barcelona. An interesting match this one again. Some great opportunities, but only one goal. Halftime here at Munich's Olympic Stadium. Bayern Munich nil, Barcelona one.
Johan Cruyff has one of the toughest jobs in world football. And the press don't give him any rest at all, including at this tie here. So it's Barcelona in their away strip. Mistake there by Roger. Change has been made. Not surprisingly, Kyriakos Forza, the Swiss international, is on. Look out for him, number 15. I was surprised he was on the bench today. He's been fouled there early on. Sforza. Marcus Babel. The ball by Helmer hit the body of Baquero. Matthias. Kiriakos Sforza. Ziga. And it's gone behind Marcus Babel, but it, might, it didn't curl out on the way through, no. have made two substitutions at half time. Bacero. Saved by Khan. Away by Babel. him coming on but that happened at half time Haji Kroyev he could be a hero here saved by Khan and saved again what a match this is turning out to be Jordi Kroyev's comeback from injury his first appearance in the UEFA Cup campaign he couldn't finish with closing down work from Khan Two chances to Barcelona just minutes after the equaliser. A 
Ali Khan, one of the keepers in contention for a place in the Euro 96 squad. back there. Scholl inside. Mateus. Little flick on by Helmer. Klinsman. Corner kick. Maybe. It is by the crowd's reaction and the keeper's reaction. gets there. Klinsman. The goal scorer who came on at half time along with Sforza. They're onside. Will it be a second? Saved by Busquets. The rebound is in there. Bayern take the lead. 12 minutes into the second half. scored the winner against Dortmund on the weekend has come out and put Bain ahead the question there onside or offside was Jean-Pierre Papin interfering with play when the ball was played through he was in an offside position Busquets saves the first attempt but not the second desperate lunge on the line by Federer Barcelona are down 2-1 Just wonder whether uh, Johan Cruyff will throw in the other gifted midfielder, Ivan De La Pena. Must be considering that option now. two-month break here because of the cold in Germany. The Bundesliga suspended for the winter break. And certainly very cold conditions out there for the teams. They've adapted so well considering Sforza. Was blocked by Roger. Still that put his defence under pressure. Good shot on the turn. Saved by Busquets. And he just gets it back ahead of Babel. Amazing stuff. Vitacek, who equalised, Busquets made an absolute meal of the save. Tried to push it around the post. He's lucky he didn't concede a third. He recovered so quickly as Barbel came through. Bayern players have such a good incentive there financially. They'll each get around $43,500 if they can reach the final of the UEFA Cup. They lead 2-1. The last 15. Cruyff. And Matthias saving the day. Now the 
the chance taken. The Romanian has made it 2 2. Against the run of play, Barcelona draw level. The match takes yet another interesting twist. But what tragedy for Bayern Munich. What a mistake by Babel. And from that range, Chargi usually doesn't miss. Jorge Haji. Roger back for Federer. Amor now Della Pena. Jordi Cruyff. He did keep it in. It was too strong again. Just some of those balls for Jordi Cruyff have been a bit too strong. Klinsman on. It's a good ball for Scholl. The cross deflecting away and luckily Barcelona had the numbers. That final deflection saves the day. What a